Hello and welcome to this week's edition of the Engineering News and Mining Weekly magazine, published on Friday, 20 October 2023. In this week's cover article, Engineering News and Mining Weekly senior writer Simone Litka writes that South Africa is urged to adopt innovation as it confronts a big waste management problem. At the heart of South Africa's environmental discussion is the pressing need to embrace a circular economy, but such a shift demands practical collaboration, inventive thinking, and a resolute commitment to sustainable practices. The engineering news features focus on water engineering and infrastructure, where a company empowers communities around water provision and packaging, labeling, and barcoding, where a packaging exhibition helps the industry to connect and boost growth. The Mining Weekly features focus on exploration, where a merger is pursued to bolster digital prospecting ends. Explosives and blasting, where a lead-free detonator range is safer for the environment. And upstream oil and gas in Africa, where the energy transition raises some questions. This week's business leader is Ignatius Sehutle, the Southern Africa CEO and Africa Chairperson at KPMG. And as this week's cartoon shows, the Unemployment Insurance Fund, which is meant to support workers who lose their jobs, stands accused of serious foul play, with organized business and labor having both called for the fund to be placed under immediate administration. We hope you enjoy this week's edition of Crema Media's Engineering News and Mining Weekly. Be sure to subscribe to the magazine that offers you in-depth news about developments in the real economy by emailing subscriptions at engineeringnews.co.za. Happy reading and see you next time. 